Tandy 1000, specifically a Tandy 1000 SL2. Um, this is going to be a pretty long video, but if you were to, as you can see right here, this is, it's on my other monitor because what we're going to do this go around, or I'm going to try anyway, is I'm going to record everything from start to finish. And I'm just going to speed up all the parts and see if everybody likes that better. I ever picked out some nice music for the speed up part. Uh, so in this particular video, we are going to install Redos. And I've already tested it. It works. Uh, pay attention to the timer down here in the corner because that's going to be amazing. Okay, so let's let's get started, shall we? So the really cool thing, a little bit about the Tandy first. The really cool part about this particular Tandy, uh, and I think a few others had this feature, is it comes preloaded with MS-DOS. So like if you were to do, I think it's C, we already have a fair bit of stuff here. Now, you know, eh, can't really do a whole lot. Like I've never been able to get desk to work. I don't know if it's because it's the emulator or I'm not really sure um it might be 86 box it might not be um i i honestly do not know but regardless of that um we're gonna install freedos now i'm gonna be the first to say that freedos is a little heavy for um candy uh like, it, not just in terms of hard drive but freedos requires a fair bit even on boot um i think loading like regular ms dos 6 or five would probably be better for this machine. I mean, you don't really have a lot of memory to begin with, but like um, after you load FreeDOS, you have like 500 kilobytes of memory left, which is not very much. Um, I think maybe MS-DOS might be better. I'm gonna do another video uh, with MS-DOS. It'll basically be the same video, but with MS-DOS and we'll like, we'll compare the two, but let's go ahead and get started. So where's my where's my cursor? Sorry, it's on the other screen. Oh, I locked it to the thing. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to tools and then settings. And uh, you know, if you wanted how to set up 86 box, I have a another video. But basically, there's some links in the description. Um, you grab the ROM and you grab the 86 box folder. You make a new folder. I called mine 86 box. And then you just extract everything into it, kind of like so. I mean, I have a bunch of extra stuff in here now. Uh, it'll like make the printer folder and the NVR and the shaders folder is something that I added. Um, but all you need to do is make a ROMs folder, dump the root of the ROMs into the ROMs folder, not its crazy long name. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, then I made a folder for the hard drives and all that sort of stuff. Relatively simple. And then you just launch it and you get this. Uh, but there's there's a there's a nice free DOS video on setting all that up. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, this video is going to be long enough as it is. So I went on ahead and did add the FPU. I didn't know a Tandy could have an additional FPU, so that's pretty cool. I went ahead and added it. I did max the memory because that extra 128 kilobytes is very useful. And on a regular Tandy, if you were to do this. Uh, I don't know how you would do it because you would need a 3.5 inch floppy drive. It would take hours. Like this is already going to take hours, but I mean, we're talking like major amount of hours. Um, so we're going to set this to 16 megahertz just so it's super duper quick. Um, and that's, I mean, that's it. I mean, the next thing is display, but can't do anything there. For a mouse, you want to set it to a Microsoft serial mouse with a com of one. And uh, I added a three button mouse, but... Um, Really doesn't seem to matter one two three nothing that you use is probably gonna you know accept the mouse wheel for sound you could add a sound card if you really really want to but we're just going to stick with the tandy graphic sound card for networking you want to set it to slurp and then you want to set it to the novell ne 1000 i made a very cool floppy uh, that we're going to look at later it's a 3.5 inch but i actually intend later to make it a um a 5.5 as well potentially uh but it'll also come in a zip form so if you try to basically if you're trying to run this thing on a uh a physical tandy um you'll be able to take the uh the disc and you just swap out you know the packet driver with you know whatever packet driver your nick uses um 
but we're going to use the Novell Any 1000 because it, it works. I know how to use it. it. It works. I mean, they all work really as long as you find the package driver. And we want to put it on address 300 and the IRQ 5. And that's going to be important later because that's the default for the bat file that I already made. Now for ports, I just left this alone. You can just leave this alone. No big deal. For storage controllers, this is where it's going to get pretty interesting. So the Tandy really can't handle, uh, you know, a very big hard drive. Um, what I did find, that, because, you know, you have to remember, like, FreeDOS, like, base install is somewhere between 10 and 20 megabytes. I can't remember what it is. I think without the source, it's like uh, 10 to 15, something like that. It's pretty pretty heavy. My uh, MS-DOS is a lot lower. Uh but you can load a SCSI because the Tandys do have ISO slots, not the, the long, long ones, but they have like the 10 inch ones or so, uh, which imagine that that's the short one. Uh, I believe it's the short one. I, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Point is they, they have a standard ISO slot and you want to load the Ranco Rancho RT 1000 B and you just want to configure it exactly as you see on screen. Seriously. Uh, D800H for the BIOS address, IRQ5, and you, BIOS version, I think, was just the default. You're going to see why this is going to be super important. And this is also one of the advantages of FreeDOS. Now, when I did the MS-DOS video, we're going to use the HD controller, and we're going to create like a 30, 40 megabyte drive. Um, Because I think the, I, I think, I think MS-DOS will load 16... Uh, FAT16, I think it will, but FreeDOS will actually partition, uh, although you could use FreeDOS to partition the drive, um, but anyway, FreeDOS um, supports FAT32 on 8086, which is just bravo FreeDOS devs. Uh, a bit overkill, mostly just due to how heavy it is, but I mean, maybe, maybe MS-DOS will end up being just as heavy, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to the, the disks here, we're going to hit new and we're going to select a fixed size disk and we want to pick SCSI and we want it on channel uh, 000 and we want to specify and I'm just going to overwrite the one that we already have here um, and just save, yes. Now for the size, we could make it a really, really big drive like if we wanted to, but I got to be honest, um, a lot of these games and stuff for the Tandy, they're really not that big. I mean, when we're talking like the Tandy version, you know, if you get them with like the EGA and VGA graphics and stuff, they're pretty big. But if you're if you're lucky enough and you're able to find like the original, like, you know, 1988 floppy, they really don't have that much data on them. And you can just delete the EGA stuff because uh, the Tandy can't load it anyway. Um, so let's just create a 95 megabyte hard drive. It'll, it'll, it'll make pretty quick. We'll just hit OK. It'll copy really quick. You know, one thing I do want to say is on Linux, this goes a lot faster almost instantly. Now, for the next big change, change it to 3.5, 1.4 millimeter, uh, millimeter, uh, sorry, megabyte floppies, and then go back to your uh, storage controllers. And I, I forgot to mention this, but you all probably saw it. For the uh, floppy disk controller, you do not want to use the internal one because the internal one for this particular ROM set is a 5.25 and I am not converting FreeDOS. Although it was tempting to make a bat file, with the 5.25, even though it'd be more floppies, it would actually install faster. Um, and we'll get to that in a second, but you just change it to that and you're good. Uh, don't worry about the CD-ROM drive, just disable it or leave it, it doesn't matter. You literally can't use it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit okay, and it's gonna reboot. Now, one thing that is kinda important about um, and what I was mentioning before, uh, FreeDOS takes forever. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Before I ramble on in a lovely tangent, I should probably go to my disks and then go to FreeDOS, and then select the boot, and hopefully it boots and I don't have to. to... There. I'm just going to reload. Ah, crap. It was low. Sorry, it, it, it takes a second for the, the SCSI to load. Anyway, what I was trying to say was um, the FreeDOS developers, in order to use less floppies, they shrunk 
the uh they they basically used upx i believe to compress everything um or something similar to it so it's like self-extracting so it has to decompress and um <laughs> let me tell you it takes a very long time on an 8086 even at 16 megahertz you, seriously watch the timer um so we're gonna we're gonna do this first part together um if if everything goes properly it'll auto format but i had an issue one time where it tried to do it in fat 12 for some reason and it ended up having to you know restart it but here we go okay and another thing you're gonna notice uh i don't know if it's like this on the physical machine but it's very broken like extremely broken <laughs> like it does not want to load anything properly in the right order and it just flat out refuses to remove that FreeDOS logo, which is beautiful, by the way. Um, but yes, it's 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 very broken. So uh, as you can see, it's it's asking me, do I want to reboot? Yes, I want to reboot. I hit enter, and now I'm just gonna lean back and I'm just gonna enjoy as the system reboots. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Like, you know, get some popcorn, get some coffee. You know, if you like bourbon, get a glass of bourbon. I'm probably gonna you know, have to get one before the end of this video because, yeah, I, I've been working on this all day and uh, setting it up. I tweeted about it. Um, and yeah, it's it's, it's going to be a really long one, uh, but it's pretty cool. Like loading Fridos on uh, a Tandy. Is it is there any purpose to it? Not really. Uh, is it cool? Absolutely. 100 percent cool. I, I still stand by, I think, regular MS-DOS. Which will have significantly less features will actually work better on a Tandy 1000. Now, if you have like a 486, free DOS all the way. Never touch MS-DOS. But, you know, if you're on a Tandy, you know, you got to work within your limitations. And the free DOS developers have done an amazing job at, you know, everything. They, they've done an amazing job, but, and, uh, you know, before you couldn't even get FreeDOS to work on an 8086. It was only FreeDOS 1.3 that I believe that they were actually able to get it to work. So, yes! Okay, good. It it properly did it. Okay, now here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hang around for a little bit because basically we're I'm gonna just go on a nice tangent for a little bit. Uh but basically after it gets done with all of this, way up here in the corner, you're gonna see press any key. When that when you see that. Pop the floppy, put the next one in, uh, because that's what that spot is for. It, it just does not load any of that stuff properly, um, which is OK. Do I wish to proceed? OK, uh, yes, I wish to proceed. We'll hit enter. It's doing its thing. Um, so one thing that's really cool and we're going to talk, I'm going to talk about what's in the rest of this video while this part talks. Uh, so we're going to have a section where we're going to you know, play some games and I'm probably going to be really, really bad at it. Like really bad at it. Um, I'm not good at keyboard only really old DOS games. I'm just, I'm not good at it. Um, and to be fair, some of that might be because I'm running it at 16 megahertz instead of the 9.5 or whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, but regardless of that, um, the other, uh, Oh, here it goes. Okay. So the, the other thing is um, I made a really cool, I, I briefly talked about it in all my ramblings here, um, a net a network floppy, I guess you could call it. Um, we're going we're gonna to take a look at it later. Can't look at it right now because obviously we're installing FreeDOS. Uh, but the really cool thing is uh, I included the Microsoft mouse driver with it on the off chance you want a mouse driver. Um, but it comes pre-set up with um, MicroWeb, which I, I believe it's called MicroWeb. Um, let me double check that. It won't take but a second here because I, I tweeted about the insanity of it all. Uh, just a little bit ago. Yeah, it's MicroWeb. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's uh, MicroWeb, and uh, it's basically a 16-bit um, a web browser that works on CGA and up graphics. And apparently it also works on the Tandy 1000 SL2, which is just incredible. And um, yeah, I mean, that's just wonderful. And it's all ready to go. Uh, all you gotta do is install it into the net folder. 
it already has the any 1000 driver all you do is just you launch it you you know hit a button and well you know you launch it and then it's up you know you can you could add an irc i, I didn't add irc uh i should go back and add in um the rest of his utilities but uh they're not configured the only thing that is configured is dhcp so you'd have to manually configure all that but there's a ping tool and some other stuff but the main thing is the web browser but you could easily go through and add your own uh you know irc client bbs you could connect from a bbs uh you know maybe maybe i'll maybe i'll look at that while uh maybe i'll look at adding the telnet client while this thing goes um We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this is super fun. I mean, look at this. I th This video is already 16 minutes long, and I'm not even on the first floppy. And granted, most of that was me talking about the setup, but, I mean, yeah, this is just absolutely crazy. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here and watch it happen as soon as I hit right before. I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to switch over to the uh the next uh floppy right before i need to switch over to the next floppy and then i'll cover it and then i'll just play it the whole way through and then uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section if you prefer the speed up version or me just you know instantly bouncing to the you know oh look it's done uh you know which which whichever i mean i have i have some some tandy music uh lined up for the uh the intermission if you will okay so We've done it. Success. Uh, we have, I'll just go down here. So now we're going to do an existing image and we're just going to select the next one, this one, and we'll just press any key or a key to continue. I'm going to wait. It went away. All right, everyone. Uh, here we go.
my goodness, everyone. It, it finally finished, and it only took like an hour and 40-ish minutes. Wow. I mean, that... Wow. Okay. Do we want to reboot? Uh, yeah. We also want to, you know, eject that floppy. Just yoink, eat. Out you go. Uh, while it's rebooting, uh, I am going to... Just maneuver some stuff around. There we go. Uh, put it back on my other monitor so I can, you know, see things a little better. Wow, that took literally like an hour. Can you imagine, though? That would take probably almost four hours on an original Tandy. And that's assuming you have a good 3.5 inch drive. That's crazy. That's just absolutely All right. That is. We are. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Now, you can immediately see one of the reasons why system and command. Now, I don't know how much MS DOS uh, uses. Uh, interestingly enough, it, it does try to load a CD driver. There is no CD, so it doesn't load it. Thank goodness. And you'd have even less memory. Um, yeah. There you go. You've done it. Congratulations. Almost two hours later, you're done. Uh, so you'll probably notice that a few things don't load very right. Um, you know, an 8086 with technically, quote unquote, uh, CGA or well, actually. It's based off of the video gate array, I believe, though, so which would be the PC Junior. So Tandy graphics is a little different, but as you can see, text mode and all it doesn't perfectly but we could just do a clear screen and then a dir and we get everything that we have and i did it literally lock up on me doing a dirt all right there it goes my goodness i thought it locked up on me truly really locked up. i was like oh gosh no um so the interesting thing is uh we're going to get some games. Let's let's get some games and let's let's get them moved on. Now, normally I do provide stuff, you know, in the description. I like to provide all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to distribute games that are not mine. Um, I don't mind distributing drivers because no one cares if you, you know, give out a driver or a free program. But none of this stuff is free. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to own it. Okay, so, wow. Uh, let's see here. Gauntlet. Uh, let's see if we can run it from the floppy. If if not... Oh my gosh, it launched. I'm, I'm amazed. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Good, good old Tandy there. Uh, space? Alt? Something? Okay, there we go. I didn't realize that maybe I had to. Okay, so okay, good. I don't have to use a mouse or anything. This is interesting. Uh, one, and then what do we want to be? What? Let's 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 be the warrior. We're the warrior. I have no idea what these are. By the way, <laughs> this is gonna be. No, really, this this. Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. We got some gold. We're, we're just gonna go till I die. I mean, my health is slowly going down. It's very, okay, very similar to the, uh, the arcade for, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that works too. Not really the way you're supposed to do it, but you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take it. It's not perfect, but you know, okay. My keyboard is not, okay, there we go. All right. Alright. Um. Oh. I guess that makes us a level. Okay, wow, okay. We're instantly going to level two. This is this is not gonna end well for anybody. Especially me. Let's see here, where are we going? Oh my god. Why? Seriously. Alright. Ah! No, run away, run away. Okay. Ah. Okay, hang on. 
after. It doesn't, uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem to recognize my input as well. And I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the fact that I'm basically on a, uh, a, uh, a different, uh, I'm on the 16 megahertz version. I don't know if that's an input or if it's just a thing with this game. Um, but, uh, actually, you know what? Let me just lock them out. So that was kind of nasty. I should have cleared that out sooner. Standing there in the way. All right. Let's... Yeah. So I'm not going to, I'm not obviously going to, not going to, not going to play this for too long, but I figure I won't live that long anyway. Okay. That's, that's a little ridiculous. All right. No, no. Come on. There we go. Like I know how to play with the arrow keys. This, this is ridiculous. Ah, run away. Oh. Yeah. It's very, uh, interesting how that work oh my no, 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 no. oh come on there we go how am i still alive honestly i mean i know i have a lot of health down there but seriously how am i still alive like this is this is crazy and even better is like i have to just maintain this so i'm gonna have to like take the hit i don't know Wait, hang on. I got this. There we go. Ah. You know, to be fair, this is not half bad, actually. Like, the controls are probably better with the joystick if it supports a joystick. Um, or, you know, because, you know, it's just like old PS2. Gosh, this is probably older than PS2. This is like a... forget what the... the would be for the keyboard but basically um this is like really old interrupts you know you got like one key press i mean this this is not uh you know it's why i can't like move and i mean i can move but you know the action disappears so you know when i move obviously i i stop but you know, I'm still holding down enter so anyway we'll, we'll go till probably the end of this level or so yeah that was silly I'm getting the hang of it though. I am. I'm I'm getting the hang of it. I think there's a VGA version of this game as well. Which to be honest probably works a lot better. Uh, probably a lot newer. Although I have to say, like, you know, for you know the Tandy era, this doesn't this isn't too bad. Although I'm not I'm still not like other than that title screen, I'm not really sure too much what makes this Tandy. I mean, because let's see, let's count the colors here. There's gray, there's black, that's two. There's the yellow and the red, that's fours. I mean, this is just, uh, I forget the CGA mode that this is, but that's, that's it's just the standard CGA mode. They didn't, you know, change the graphics or anything like that. Ow. Come on. I can do this. Ah, one one hit, huh? Guys are tough. Whatever you are. You are. All right, there's in the level. Screw it. We're going. Yeah. But we do have some other interesting games. Uh, I'm gonna just Control C, and we'll just back out, and then we are gonna look at a game that I know. For a fact, uh, uses full-fledged handy graphics. If it runs. I don't know if it'll work off the floppy. It does. Perfect. You know, the, the 80s with Sierra Online are just incredible. I went on ahead and skipped this. I mean, I mean, this, sure, you know, this, this isn't, you know, super, uh, 
super great as far as like what we would continue, you know, consider today. Um, but you know, for 1987, I mean, this is incredible. I mean, at this point in time, EGA cards were a thing. BGA cards kind of think on the way, but you know, I don't actually know what we do in there. Oh, okay. It was, <laughs> it was loading the next thing. <laughs> we don't have a very fast processor. And also if you're doing this off the floppy, it's probably not the fastest thing. Uh, I don't know how to stop moving. Is is there like a stop button? How can you do that? Okay, how do I stop moving? Help? Okay, okay, okay. Saves your current game. Control D radios dispatch. Shows the status for a hint book. Oh, there's a number I can call. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, pick up you don't need it okay i'm actually surprised that the pick up pick. Oh, you don't need it okay so maybe that isn't an action it's the object you're carrying okay probably another game where the uh you know the the Tandy probably really benefited from, or at least for its time. This game was also remade, much like King's Quest and stuff with VGA. And of course, the you know the VGA version is significantly better. But you know we're not we're not here to um yeah. I, I mean obviously I do want to play some games and just look at you know okay people are showering all right I and mean, I can't tell if that one's a woman or. A Can you believe that Morris Fudley every day he showers here because he's too cheap to shower at home? Okay, it's a man. I'd sum that up really quick. I mean, this is pretty good. I mean, they, they took full advantage of the the Tandy chip, which is, I gotta say, very impressive. Let me go talk to the dude in the shower. Boy, what a hangover I have. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here. <laughs> gotta love games for their say sunny do you know how to tell the difference between i'm not i'm not gonna nope i should have realized i was about to say you know 80s games tend to be very mature in certain areas and um yeah i'm not that is not youtube Friendly, thank you. Hopefully, you, Google doesn't uh, decide to, you know, just just ban my whole entire, uh, you know, channel for that. That is a big computer, and I can't interact. All right, let's let's go over this. Can't interact. With the computer. Right, let's see what's on this. And again, like just much like before, we're not gonna hang around too long. I do want to I want to check out a little bit of the games. I mean this this is a fairly long video, but mostly it was just installing which, you know, when you figure it it's quite Another thing I want to see is I want to see if uh we can load. There are actually two things I want to see. One thing I want to see is I want to see if we can load the network uh without the driver, not the driver, without the hard drive. Uh and then of course the other one is we're, we're, I don't know where we're going. We're just I'm just talking and he's just walking. One administrative leave. Does that mean I failed? Wow. Okay. I, I mean, I should have seen that coming, but you know, can't hit that. Enter to quit. Okay, so now we're just gonna. Let me back my mouse. Now we're just going to load the next game. I'll just do a dir really quick here, and it's stop. I don't know. This game's pretty cool. Uh, it's by the Taito Corporation, and they actually have quite a few. Um, quite a, I mean, look at that. I mean, they have quite a few Tandy games. They also did Gladiator, Double Dragon. They they made a bunch of arcade games, and this is an arcade game that they ported to DOS. 
And specifically, this is a Tandy enhanced version, um, which is really cool. And apparently one guy programmed the entire thing, which I think is just absolutely awesome. We're just going to click in there. Uh, hey, look at this. This is really cool. I mean, uh, all right, here we go. I'm like no good at this game, but you know, we're going to, oh yeah. I mean, there's some screen tearing when I move too fast, but... Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that is, but we got it. All right, how do we jump again? All right. Yeah, get out of my way. Ah! Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right, get off that. All right, there we go. We're back. Ow. Oh, wait, hang on. I literally have absolutely... Oh my goodness. Bats, they're everywhere. A little heart down there just pumping away oh my gosh this is another like very difficult game um the sound's not bad i mean obviously of course you know for the you know pcs of the era it's not best but well rather i should say for the pcs of the era it's pretty good i mean the art's pretty good i mean look at that it looks awesome of course once again you know this was a um port so a bit bigger of a budget just having to convert all the sprites over I'm just gonna go this way we're gonna die anyway I don't know how I didn't die. okay it turns out water instant death um yeah I'm just gonna I don't know how to quit honestly I, I don't uh-huh I have no idea how to quit. Okay, we're just gonna keep going, cause. Mm... Oh, okay, there we go. F10. Trying like all the old ways. Um, so yeah, I mean that's a that's a relatively simple game. I mean, you know, again, I just wanted to showcase just a couple games for the Tandy, and you know, just so you can see, like, you know, when Tandy came out, I believe the first Tandy came out in 1984. It allowed for 16 colors whereas the CGA only allowed for four at once, and it was quite a step up, and it really wouldn't be a couple years uh, until EGA became popular that, um, you know, game developers had a bigger palette to choose from when it came to, you know, DOS machines. So it is, it is very cool to, you know, see where it came from. And then, of course, you know, VGA became really popular, uh, what, 1990, maybe? Well, I don't know about really popular, but started appearing around what i would say 88 89 somewhere around there i forget when the first vga card came out but um you know by the by the early 90s and leading up to the mid 90s vga was king and 256 colors and everybody had a sound blaster 16 at least or something similar and you know you, well if you gamed on a dos machine so yeah uh let's go, let's go back to c really quick and do another dir all right there we go i went really quick that time so, you know, it it's pretty cool. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna, uh, you know, set up our uh, our uh, networking. To do that. We're just gonna load our HandyNet IMG, which I purposely made. And um, I also included the Microsoft mouse drivers. On the off chance you would like a mouse driver, because you know, like you still have edit, you know, because this is um, redos. I mean, it's it's not. It's surprisingly how uh, like it starts slow, but you can type fairly well on it. So that was like way too fast. There it goes. I like outpace that thing. <laughs> but what you can do is so the cute mouse driver does not work with uh on on the tandy. It doesn't work. I think that driver only works on 386. 
or maybe even 286 or higher machines, but it doesn't work on an 8086. It just freezes up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into net here and inside of here, there's a lovely little bat file I made called netdrv and it works. Okay, and then we'll just type web. Are we really able to just go right off a of floppy? Because if so, that's really cool. Oh my God, we're going right off a of floppy. Okay, we'll hit control L. That'll pull us to the, cause again, I don't have a mouse drawer. Uh, so can't use the mouse. Um, let's 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 go to the retro dev. I, I think my site is still broken, moved permanently. This document has been permanently moved. Uh, I'm not really sure why it displays that because I was working on it earlier and I was literally had gone to it. Um, chances are that has to do with the fact that I think the site uh, has some issues with, uh, you know, non HT. Uh, sorry, it pretty much my site only pretty much supports HTTPS, and I do need to work on that. But uh, look at this. I mean, this is fully functional, and, it, and it's actually really smooth. I mean. Sure, you know, when you go really fast and you move up and down and all, you know, it, 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 it gets pretty laggy. But, I mean, you can read this. You can, you know, you can do a whole host of stuff. Uh, let's let's see if Google loads. And Google should load because I believe Google supports. Yeah, Google Google loads fine. Uh, um, How do you? Okay. No, you just have to tab. Oh, my God. Uh, Let's 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 look up. Uh, Let's look up the Tandy 1000 Google search. If Google search works. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just tab our way way down. There's probably a better way to do this. Oh, it didn't it didn't load anything. Um Yeah. That's 24 hours maybe. Yeah, uh I think it might let's try start page. I think startpage.com. <laughs> Does not support HTTPS. Oh man. Um let's see if Bing loads. Uh yeah. Let's see if Yahoo loads. It's browser. Yeah, see most most sites don't support HTTP HTTP anymore. I'm hoping that he'll eventually add HTTPS because that would actually solve quite a bit of problems. But um so yeah, that's that's the networking uh, portion and I made this lovely little uh, CD. So let's let's look at actually like adding this thing to the machine. Um, and if we run mem here, it should load. Hang on. I, have to get set. I don't know if you could run it. There it is. Okay, so uh, we actually have 498k free. So we're actually using quite a fair bit just loading you know the the network driver and stuff and well you know before i think it was like 500 and some i can't remember what it is by default um but trust me when i say you you don't it, it adds up like there are some games that with free dos like um operation wolf you can't even play because it needs basically all of the memory that you would have and you just do not have any and extended memory xms didn't work at all i couldn't i couldn't get that one to work but let's just say, for example, you know, we, we want to copy uh, everything from here over. Um, well, that's pretty easy. We'll just do an X copy and we'll just say net. And then we will copy it to C net. And then we'll do forward slash E and forward slash I because I do not want to be asked if it's a folder. And also, uh, I should actually do that when I'm outside of the. Uh, directory there. I should have realized that. My bad. I'm very impressed at how long that took. An hour and 45 minutes. That's 40 minutes, actually, I think. An hour and 40 minutes. Who cares? 45 minutes. Eh, it's fine. Okay. The other thing is um, we could also copy... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make a directory. I'm going to call it xcopy mouse and then... I am going to send it to drivers. Okay, and and this is this is the Microsoft mouse drive. 
that uh, Microsoft has for DOS, which is fairly useful. And now we're going to go back to C, and we'll just do a dir, and we can go into drivers, do another dir, and boom, as you can see right there, that we have a mouse driver. So let's just load mouse. And now we have mouse. And now if we do edit, and then control N, you'll see, voila, we have a mouse. Pretty cool, right? Like this is, you know, we have a really good mouse driver. You know what's interesting is it actually works better for some reason than than um, when I'm emulating like the, uh, the AM5X86. And I emulate the AM5X86 at full speed. I don't know what it is about that thing, but for some reason it doesn't. The Pentium's fine. And Windows 95, the mouse cursor, it's a little wonky, it's okay. But for some reason with the Tandy, this is this is perfectly serviceable. I mean, it's still a little fast, but you know, I could still do stuff. So yeah, and of course, you know, if we wanted to copy the games over, we could copy the games. The only reason I'm not doing that is because they work fine off the floppy and so forth. So now let's check. Let's Let's do a really quick check. And let's just unload this. And then let's go to hmm, settings here. And we're just gonna remove this. We're just gonna completely remove it. And then we'll hit okay. Probably should have changed the SCSI off, um, but it'll just take a second. And like at the start of this video, you know, the Tandy comes with DOS 3. And I really wanna see, cause I, I didn't test it before and I really should have. I wanna see if that floppy, uh, will actually work um, with this version of, of DOS. I have no earthly idea. So you can see right here. I think I don't. I don't think it has mem. Yeah, it doesn't have mem. Um, we can go into C, and I don't know. Let's see what auto mem does. It just shoots us right back. Yeah, there's there's really not a whole lot we can do. Like this this is basically just a bare bones DOS, and desk does not work. I don't know what that thing's supposed to do anyway. Um, we'll we'll load an existing image here. We'll load that, and then we'll go into oh, we're already in it, right? Of course. Uh, we'll load the mouse driver. Let's see if the mouse driver loads. Okay, the mouse driver loads. Perfect. Now let's go into our net and do another dir really quick. Wow, it's very snappy. Uh, I guess because it's not really a lot to load here. Let's do a net drv. Let's see if this loads. Oh my god. This is the interesting thing that I did not know if it would load. Holy crap. So it, I'm blown away. So this 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 tiny 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 little floppy I made, not only can you load a beautiful mouse, but you can also load Oh my gosh. I need a moment. Cuz that is just incredible. Like I know that's probably not incredible to some people, but that's just incredible. That floppy just loads it. Uh, let's let's go to uh, 86box.net. Loading the headers. Oh my gosh, I have a full browser, and it's loading off of a floppy disk, and it's only taking off about 300 kilobytes. And I mean, this this is like I say, this is fully serviceable. Um, that's crazy. See, oh yeah, we can't go to GitHub, but that's okay. We have a mouse pointer now, everyone. We have a mouse pointer. I really need to figure out why. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't load. Let's see, can we download stuff? That makes sense. Pulling off. Uh, can we read, can we read the blog? Why not a Pentium three? Oh my goodness, that 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 is just incredible. blown away i really should have tried this sooner but i mean that's just amazing so uh i'm gonna end this video here uh we checked out we have this thing fully set up i mean with this with this uh you know machine you could easily make like a really easy boot floppy and you could just you know because you know you have 1.4 megabyte floppy with this so you can make a boot floppy with like you know a browser and some dev tools I would recommend probably like assembly, but you could even put, you know, C or something on here through like tiny C or uh, something like that. And you could, I mean, you could develop full programs, you know, straight in this thing with no hard drive, just, you know, just 
you know, we have two floppies. Um, so, you know, we can go to B. I mean, we have B. There's, there's nothing in it, so it's going to fail. But, I mean, you know, you might want to grab, like, the Freedos text editor, uh, you know, for basic text editing and stuff like that. But you could totally set it up. In fact, I might, I might actually make a, uh, a Tandy uh, development floppy with uh, some, some stuff on it. I'm, I'm feeling in that kind of a mood. So, that's that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I loved making this video. It took all day. Um, I hope you guys liked the uh, sound effect. You know, as I say this, I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep the music, uh, but if YouTube strikes it down, I'll just add a fast forward effect. So hopefully I'll be able to put the music in for the fast forward while it's installing. And um, yeah, I will, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a pretty light day because it's Mother's Day and all. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, let me just get out of that. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you all for, you know, supporting this channel. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, put them below or, you know, join the, join the forum. And I will see you guys in the next one.